We're here in Switzerland, Zug, and we're here with uh, one of the Plasma developers from Omis Go. How are you doing, uh, June? Uh, I'm wonderful. How are you? Yeah, doing fine. I mean, first time in Zug, and uh, yeah, it's 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 a good good vibe, good vibe here. Well, what do you think of the the event? Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, new faces. People are super excited. Uh, a lot of projects are uh, developing. It's really cool to see kind of the combination of Casper and sharding being discussed and kind uh, and information about that be disseminated. Wow. Yeah. What did you did you think of the panel with Vitalik and with Carl and with with Justin Drake of the Ethereum Foundation? I mean, did you see it or? Uh, I I didn't see that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were, were some 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 developments, of course, uh, in, in discussed about Ethereum. Um, how does the development of Ethereum affect your project? I mean, oh, it's excellent. Uh, so that essentially, uh, both proof of stake and sharding uh, positively affect Layer Two solutions as well, just because Layer Two solutions such as Plasma hinge on uh, Ethereum mainnet and Ethereum mainnet scaling. Uh, so yeah. Sharding scales horizontally, and then the layer two solutions that we're working on uh, scale vertically. So yeah, they complement each other very well. All right. Maybe for the wider public, you can uh, uh, tell what are you working uh, on uh, with Omis Go. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'm primarily uh, doing research. So essentially, uh, Plasma is an architecture framework for. Uh, you have a blockchain that is secured by another blockchain. In our case, we're using Ethereum. And so it's a fairly open design space. And so kind of trying to find uh, different pieces together to get uh, the maximum amount of scaling possible and the functionality uh, we need to support a decentralized exchange. All right. I heard that also even Vitalik is pretty uh, much also busy with you guys working together on this Plasma project, or is that a rumor? Uh, uh, I would say that uh, the advisors of Omise Go uh, are definitely uh, happy to offer their input from time to time. Uh, but yeah, everyone in the space is kind of busy working on their own thing. Uh, yeah, so there's, there's collaboration on a bunch of stuff, but everyone ha kind of has their own niche and yeah, different okay, focus. Okay. And how do you see for yourself personally Omis Go develop? I mean, it must be a, a blast if you see your technology in just a few years' time or even one year time on, on somebody's cell phone. I mean, yeah, uh, it's super exciting uh, just because things are moving so quickly and everything's just iterating and exploding. Uh, the idea that something that we're building could be used uh, by the OMG network, but also because it's open source, other people can kind of take it and then build on top of it and push the ball forward. Uh, yeah, it's I, I can't. Yeah, it's an amazing feeling. All right, all right. So uh, for you, for you personally, how do you see the space develop? I mean, you're probably yeah, you're, you're a very talented guy developing. You should you you could also go to the Silicon Valley guys, but you decided to go to Omis Go. But I really love uh, the ethos of both the Ethereum community and Omise Go in, in particular. Uh, Silicon Valley is exciting, uh, but uh, the Ethereum ecosystem still feels very grassroots. You kind of, you travel to various events and you see the same people, you build lasting relationships. And so, yeah, I tr I'm here for the people. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much, Jun, and all the best with uh, the development of uh, Omise Go. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day. Okay, thank you.